It was a historic day in Wilmington as the Wilmington Police Department celebrated the graduation of its 100th Academy. I mean, I believe it started in the early 1700s as police department, and we would come to today in 2021 to have 100 police academies still getting officers down the street, making sure we're training them in the top, proper type of policing, community policing, community engagement. It's such a such a tough time, but you know what? These are the days that shows hope how we can get past a lot of things and, and, and build for the future. So. Today's ceremony was held at the Chase Center on the Wilmington Riverfront, where 19 graduates were sworn in before a small audience of family, friends, community leaders, and local and state officials. It meant a lot to me. Uh, first time being at, at, a, at a police graduation, and it really helped me to appreciate the Academy more. So. Wilmington City Council President Trippy Congo says he is very encouraged by the diversity of this year's centennial class, which features five black males and five females of varying races. This year's a little different. We're going through a turbulent time. Hats off to the mayor and to uh, Chief Tracy for uh, listening to council, listening to the community, and making this 100 class a diverse uh, academy. To, to be representative of the community that we're a part of, and I think it'll go a long way in those relationships too. Solemnly swear that I will support. Selected from a pool of over 140 applicants, these 19 new police officers will begin their new assignments with the Uniformed Services Division on Monday. Chief Tracy says a lot of work was done to ensure that the challenges posed by COVID-19 would not get in the way of the department's commitment to attract and train a diverse range of recruits. It looks good, it feels good, and you know, we can strive to make sure we diversify the police department and put the best police officers out on the street. I'm very proud. It's a great, great group. I love the diversity of it. I like the, uh, uh, the excellence in their performance. It gives us hope. It really does. Reporting from the Wilmington Riverfront, I'm Michaela Austin, 22 News.